What's going on everybody? Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Welcome back to the channel everybody. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mark Hilfoltz, his major improvement this season, and why he's showing that he very well could fulfill the potential that everyone thought he had coming out of college. So right off the top, it's no secret that the big problem with Mark Hilfoltz was his jump shot. So of course, one of the main reasons why I believe he's showing signs that he can fill that potential is because his jump shot went from looking like this with a weird hitch in his jump shot to looking like this, a more confident player and willing player to pull up from mid range when defense is forcing to take it. Markel's jump shot form and his improved confidence was 100% the main thing I was looking for this season and he showed it. So now let's get into Markel's stats this season. This season for the Orlando Magic, Marco Fultz averaged 12.1 points, 5.2 assists, 3.3 rebounds a game, while shooting 47.3% from the field, 25.4% from downtown, 72.3% from the free throw line, with a true shooting percentage of 52.3. Shooting percentage went from 45.2% last year to 52.3% this year. His free throw percentage went from 56.8% last year to 72.3% this year. His mid-range pull-ups from 16 feet to the three-point line went from 33.3% last year to shooting 44.8% this year. His improved shooting from mid-range and especially the free throw line give reason to believe that the three-point shot will eventually come in his career as he continues to improve. Outside of his shooting from deep, which is obviously his biggest weakness, Marco Foles is honestly pretty good at everything else on offense. And before we go any further, I just want to point out, this season is technically really his rookie season. He only played 33 games before this season. This year, he played 64 games. This is his first full real NBA season. So really, those first two seasons are just like out the window. As you see here, Marco loves to put some transition and he's honestly good at it. Ranking in the 63rd percentile in transition according to Synergy, which is a rating of quote unquote good. Markel excels at pushing the ball in transition while the defense is scrambling due to his ability to finish at the rim and his extraordinary athleticism. Markel shoots 65% at the rim, which is better than the likes of Russell Westbrook and just 1% below Derrick Rose. As a ball handler in the pick and roll, Markel ranks in the 56th percentile, which once again is in the rating of good. Once again, this is due to his ability to finish at the rim and his explosive athleticism. I've got to see Markel play when he came to Detroit because like I told you guys before, I'm a credential media member. And one of the things I loved watching by him was one, his ability to finish at the rim, two, his craftiness around the rim and ability to get there, and three, his twitchy athleticism. I don't really know who to compare it to, but if you combine that with his kind of like yin yang ball handling, his loose freestyle type of ball handling, I don't really know how to explain it, but it really makes it hard for a defense to guard it. And it's really fun to watch him play. He ranks in the 13th percentile as a spot up shooter, which obviously is very bad but one of the things I really like to see from him this year was the fact that he was 73rd percentile in cuts to the rim so uh, some players they will just spot up no matter if they're a bad shooter they just won't move around because they don't have that type of feel for the game. Markel understands teams aren't respecting me from downtown honestly I'm not going to hit them at a very high clip so I'm going to cut to the rim at smart times and get easy baskets for my team that way it will make the defense respect me off the ball as a cutter not only a spot up shooter. This is a play from the game in Detroit earlier in the year. His ability to create this shot, his feel, his patience, and his confidence to take a step back right away after the type of stuff he's went through with his jump shot really shows the type of improvement he made on offense. To sum up his offense this season, he made improvements across the board, literally in every area you could possibly think of on offense this year. The Magic's offense was six points better with him on the floor. His ability to completely bully guards smaller than him on the way to the rim. He's 6'3", but he has a wingspan of 6'9". He looks a lot bigger than 6'3". So combine that with his explosiveness, his improved jump shot from the mid-range, he really took a step forward in literally every step on offense this year. Now let's talk about him defensively. So this is a play that really stuck out to me while watching some film on Marco. So he allows 0.81 points per possession when he's guarding the pick and roll ball handler, which is in the 69th percentile with a rating of very good. And as you see in this clip, Marco does a pretty nice job of getting around the screen, but he exhibits tremendous recovery speed as Dinwiddie tries to snake the pick and roll right here and gets a great contest on him forcing a miss. For clarification, this does not take into account assist, only the ball handler himself scoring efficiency. He also averages 1.3 steals a game, showing really nice instincts in the passing lane and uses his length to his advantage. 
again, like I said earlier in the video, this is really his rookie season, his first full season as an NBA player. And it shows sometimes on defense that he'd get caught ball watching every now and then. Sometimes he'd pursue the passing lanes a little too much and get caught in wrong positioning. But those are typical rookie mistakes you expect out of a young player. But he showed real, real potential to become a very good defender down the line. And honestly, it was a pretty nice one this season. And I know if you look at his defensive rating on off, it doesn't exactly paint that picture. But... That doesn't tell the full story. So Markel played most of his minutes next to Nikola Vucevic as his big man, which is a noted bad defender. And you can see that in their defensive rating as a duo. But if you look at the black arrows, which is different big men next to Markel Fultz, the defensive rating gets noticeably better. So simply just looking at his defensive rating doesn't tell the full story. You have to do a little bit more research and look who he's playing with most of the time. So his overall bad defensive rating could be attributed to the fact that he has to play next to a noted bad defender for the majority of his minutes. The point is looking at overall on off ratings can be helpful if you do a little bit more research into what makes sense. So in summary, Marco Fultz showed a lot of potential and a lot of things to be happy about moving forward. And Orlando Magic have to be happy about the fact that they got away with stealing him from the Philadelphia 76ers. This season, Markel showed the confidence and the swagger that is seriously contagious amongst your team. And it was what people thought they were gonna be getting coming out of college. Now, like I said earlier, this was really his first full season as an NBA player. So it really is his rookie season in my opinion. And in this season, Marco showed that there's reason to believe that his three-point shot will come along due to his improvements from the mid-range and especially the free throw line. He showed that he is a legit offensive player. He also showed that he has potential to be a seriously good defensive player down the road, even though he was already a pretty nice one this year. After being made fun of for the first two years of his career for something he couldn't even control and being the laughing stock of the NBA media landscape, Marco Fultz showed all of them this year that he is going to be a serious NBA player moving forward. And he also showed that there is a legit chance that he is going to fulfill the potential that everybody thought he had coming out of college. And I'm telling you guys right now, you guys can mark me down as one of the people who believe that he will fulfill that potential. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys agree with me or if you guys just like the video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below and let me know what you guys think about Marco Fultz and his season this year in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, go check out my channel. I have a bunch of other videos that I've done in the past month and a half or so on young players, how good they are, the improvements they need to make, improvements that they've already made. If you like that type of content, go check out the channel and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. If there's any other young player you guys want me to talk about that I haven't already, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, everybody.